the ability to compete, to be competitive in our businesses has never been more important. You know, globalization doesn't take prisoners. China wants your lunch, India wants your dinner. And whatever sector we operate in, whatever size of business we are, we have to be at the cutting edge if we're going to succeed and if our country's going to succeed. As our economy comes out of recession, you know, the squeeze is going to be on what we get for our taxpaying pound. And in public service delivery, it's not going to be about just cutting. It's going to be about getting value for our money. So whether it is the health service, whether it's education, whether it's in the military, whether it's in the prison service, whether it's in transport, what we need to do is become more productive and efficient in the way that we actually deliver the service. So what is NGA, Next Generation Access? Well, all over the country, BT are replacing good old copper wire with fibre optics. City by city, region by region. They're making sure that the ability to have capacity in the way we handle information is going to be there for business so that business becomes globally competitive and our society has the ability to win. Now NGA will extend capacity from 5 meg by a factor of 20 to 100 meg. And that of its own gives a competitive edge, not just to businesses, but to society as a whole. But of course, that's not the whole story. In fact, that's not really the story at all. What it's really about is what you do with it. How you apply your ingenuity, your talent, your people, your ideas, your markets, what you do, to the liberating effect that NGA will have on the business environment. At a time of bad news everywhere, there's some fabulously good news coming down the pipe. Next generation access. It will revolutionise business.